Hello everybody, Dar speaking. Um, today we're going to be making a console application uh, with a menu. I've done this before but I will be doing it again because the old video was kind of bad. Uh, the first thing we're going to be doing is add a index in order to find out what item we have been selected in lists and then we have to add some items. Let's just do one, uh, two, and then exit just for the sake of it. Just like that. And then we're going to do a while loop. Uh, this is just to, uh, to display the menu over and over. And then we're going to add a console key info in order to get the user's input. Mm key, read key, like that. Uh, okay, we're going to use a for loop in order to get every item in the menu list, and I'm going to remove that, uh, count, and then we're going to do i++ in order to add that, um, and then we're going to do if i equals index uh, then we're going to um, display it a little bit different. We're going to do a console dot background color. Uh, we're going to do it gray just for the sake of it. And in order to show the the the, the item, we have to use uh, black or white. Black, yeah. Uh, and then if it's not the index color, then we or the index, we just have to write the the item, of course. Write console dot. We can just do reset color like that. Console dot write line, uh, and then we have to get the get item menu item, and then do i to get the current index that it's set. Okay, uh, if you run this, we will get our menu. And as you can see, nothing is happening. I'm pressing up and down, and we only get the same, same, uh, same text over and over. So what we'll have to do now is uh, we have to clear the console, and just for the sake of it, we're going to hide the cursor. Uh, show no cur cursor visible equals false like that and we are going to check if the up or down key has been pressed so let's do c key dot key if the console key is down then we will do something and of course we have to do if else if uh, c key dot key equals console key dot up arrow okay uh, okay there's a few things we have to uh, bear in mind now um, first we can just we could have just done it like that like this uh, plus plus we will get it from the top of index and then down the list so if we just do it like like that and run it it will work but when we get to the bottom of the list we can continue and nothing will happen and um, yeah that's not really ideal uh, okay well, I'm just going to do it like that I think that will fix the oh no of course not the let's just do it like this yeah as you can see when you get to the bottom of the list uh, it will just uh, it will just disappear and it will not go anywhere uh, so what we'll have to do now is to add a check if it if it's at the bottom of the list or not so if index equals uh, menu items dot count 
minus 1 then index equals 0 else yeah I will just have to change that uh, to be like that and just add a squirrely brackets like so and that should do that uh, and also if index equals zero or yeah if it's zero if it's zero less or equal than zero sorry then index equals <coughs> menu items dot count minus one uh yeah and I'll do like that else like so now let's see if that works yeah mm -hmm. works like a charm uh, and of course if you don't want it to jump to the to the top again you can just uh, do it like this or just coming out the line uh, if I just do this instead then it will work so okay now just does that when it's at the top it will not go to the bottom but yeah we can just uh, do that for the sake of this tutorial like so And now you're probably wondering to yourself, uh, okay, that's fine, Danny. I got a menu, but what if I want to do something when I press one of the one of the things? Well, um, what we can do then is the following. We can just extract that to another class. Let's just, uh, I think I have. Well, yeah, just just cut that and let's do the following uh, private uh, static string draw menu and we will need a list of items string 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 items like so and we're just going to paste that and um, we'll have to make this static as well static and just like that and we're going to change out that to that <coughs> uh, yeah now we'll have to return the item that we have selected so we will just do Return items dot index uh, index and that is of course uh, if the current uh, press key equals enter and if that's not the case then just return nothing like that and of course uh, we need to have a return at the end as well just to satisfy that <coughs> okay uh, now that we've done that we have to do draw menu uh, or we can do string uh, selected menu item equals draw menu uh, because that re that returns a string so uh, that's just to uh, that is just to keep it stored somewhere okay uh, if selected item equals uh, one for example then we can do console oops console dot right line hello 
one else if menu items or no sorry selected item equals exit then we'll close the application environment exit zero like so uh, console dot clear and uh, console dot read like that hello one and exit closes it so okay that was everything uh, leave some tips on what I can do to get better on these tutorials uh, thank you and have a nice day